from Madison Square Garden in Midtown Manhattan, the site of the New York Knicks, the New York Rangers, and America's Got Talent. That's right, America's Got Talent is filming at the Garden, and we got a chance to talk to all the judges and host Nick Cannon at the red carpet inside. What's the best part about filming in New York City for you? Well, I love New York City. I've lived here for 13 years. And um, what is the best thing about it? They have great talent here, too. You know, this is a city that never sleeps. And I love it here. What, when you look for talent, and you've been judged many times, so what, what do you look for as a judge now as opposed to being judged? I want to come onto the stage and be surprised, have someone there that does something unexpected. You know, people always say, who are you looking for? What are you looking for? And I don't know what I'm looking for. I just know that when I see it and it's good, that that's what I was looking for. Howie Mandel, what are you looking for uh, most to about season nine? Uh, just the unexpected, you know, every year we get surprised, that's the beauty of this show, it's not just singing, it's not just dancing, it's open to anybody, there are no rules, any age, anything, who's to say what talent is? And we always find something new and exciting, outrageous and dangerous and crazy, and that's what I'm looking for this season. Now you've been a host on many shows, what's different about being a judge as far as a host for you? Well, I don't have to do the kind of work that uh, a host has to do. A host has, there's a lot of preparation, there's a lot of uh, work, there are marks to hit and things to do. As a judge, I can't believe this is a job. I just sit there and do what people do at home on the couch in their underpants. They just give me pants and a check to, t to do the exact same thing, to say, this is what I thought of this act and why. You talked about social media uh, this week and how you hate it and, and uh, you know, TV has become a lot with social media and publicity, so how do you get around that with America's Got Talent? Well, listen, you do not get around social media with America's Got Talent. They got so many people here. Everywhere you look, there's some dude with a camera or tweeting or Instagramming or doing something. I just sit there and mind my own business, but uh, there's constant... Uh, social media. No, you're right. In this environment, you have to. Social media has become really, really important. I don't like it. As a radio guy, used to be the only way you could reach a mass audience is be on the radio or TV. Now anyone can have a Twitter feed and just reach everybody. So is TV different from radio for you? Is it is it better or is it worse? Radio is the most magical. You're in radio. It's the most magical medium, and I'll tell you why. As an interviewer, you know we we interview a lot of guests. Theater of the mind is so great, and when a guest walks in, when the cameras aren't there, they feel like they're not even on the air. And it's so much better, I think. I think radio still is the best medium. Now, a lot of people disagree. You see a lot of guys, they get into broadcasting, they want to be on TV, they want to be in film, they want, you know, every, every that's sort of the sexy, glamorous medium. But I still think radio is a sexy medium and people should go into it and really look at it seriously. It's, it's fantastic. That's a camaraderie with you and the other judges. It's good. Who cares? I'm the most important one. I don't give. I don't care. Let's talk about your album that came out this week, uh, White, White People, People Party, Party Music. music. Yo, yep. you got to say the woo with it. White People Party Music. Woo! There, <laughs> there we go. White People Party Music. What, is, what was your inspiration for the album? Drew, drew a lot people. of controversy. <laughs> <laughs> drew drew a lot of controversy, but why? Uh, you know what? Honestly, it's it a compliment more than anything. I DJ all over the world, and honestly, I always say white people know how to have more fun than anyone. If there's white people in the party, they're having a good time. They're dancing, they're hugging each other. It's, it's amazing. I was like, you know what? They're the majority, so let me just go for the biggest market and then make... But this album could have been called Purple People Party Music. It would have been the same thing. So you got America's Got Talent, you're hosting. Yeah. What is your favorite part about hosting? What is what is the thing that you look forward to when you wake up in the morning and you're going to host America's Got Talent? It's amazing, man. You get to see people accomplish their dreams. I mean, and it's everyday Americans. It's people who have nine to fives and they get the opportunity to perform in Madison Square Garden, Radio City Music Hall, and strive for a million dollars and to be the next star of America. It's amazing to, to be a part of that process and to help encourage and motivate. Um, I, I wouldn't change it for the world. 
Well, you just saw the red carpet from the Chase Square, the lobby of Madison Square Garden, the site of the New York Knicks, the New York Rangers, and America's Got Talent, where they're filming at the theater at MSG. You can watch the premiere of America's Got Talent on May 27th, 2014 on NBC with host Nick Cannon. From the world's most famous arena, Neil A. Caruso, WRHU-FM, New York.